This is the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I nominate Ellen DeGeneres. You've been nominated a few times. You should do it, girl. It's for a good cause. I also nominate Miley Cyrus. I nominate Kristen Wig, and I also nominate Michael Stevens of Vsauce and the whole SourceFed team of YouTube. You know, you have 24 hours to either do the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge or donate $100 to ALS TDI. You can find them at ALS.net. They're the absolute best organization to help find a cure for ALS. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty crazy, right? So why did I do it? Uh, I've been so terrified of ALS my entire life because it runs in my family. ALS runs in my family. My, my, my grandmother had it. She was a second mother to me. My mother was diagnosed when I was in high school and uh, five months ago I was diagnosed at 26 years old. ALS is so, so fucking scary. You have no idea. I hate talking about it. I really hate talking about it. And that's probably why nobody talks about it, is because it's so challenging to watch. It's so challenging to see and to talk about. Nobody wants to see a depressing person that's dying and has two to five years to live. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want their day ruined. People are getting frustrated about seeing the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge right now, and that's fine, that's fine. That means our, um, you know, our awareness is working. It wouldn't be successful if we weren't um, irritating a few people, right? Uh, I promise your news feed will go back to cat videos and let it go covers. Um, but right now, the ALS community has, has the main spotlight. And for once in my entire life, I've seen it in the forefront. Usually when I say to someone, I have ALS, my mom has ALS, my grandmother has ALS, they have two responses. They are either totally confused, have no idea what ALS is, they usually attribute to Ligarius disease, or they know completely how terrifying it is and the conversation is usually pretty short. Only 30,000 people in the US have ALS. Not many people know about it. And there's not very much incentive for the pharmaceutical companies to invest the billions of dollars it takes to develop a drug because I'm not profitable. I'm not worth saving. Right now my hands are starting to atrophy away. They're getting weak. Having trouble starting my car, buttoning my shirt. Eventually I won't be able to use my arms or hands at all. Eventually I won't be able to walk, talk, and breathe on my own. And that's 
the real truth of what ALS is. It's devastating. It's costly. It's not profitable. This video is all over the place with emotions and I am, um, you know, I apologize for my rant and for my tears, but if I don't, if I simply dump ice in my head, I don't think you're really gonna get the point. And so I thank you for sharing this video in advance. This is the first successful advocacy we've ever really, really, really had. And I am so, so, so grateful. You have no idea how every single challenge makes me feel, lifts my spirits, lifts every single ALS patient's spirits. You're really, truly making a difference and we're so, so, so grateful. Love you.